Hey guys, Colby from MufflerTech and PriusCats.com again, and today's topic is again stolen catalytic converters. But unlike a lot of my other videos, this is specific to the Honda Element and the amount that we're starting to see uh, in the Honda products. Um, the Elements lately have been a been a huge surge in stolen parts. So um, you can see behind me here, um, we've had three of them towed in today. Um, and then I want to show you one that's in the shop and go over how they're taking them. All right, so here's an element and we're walking underneath here and there is our, our area where the cat is supposed to go. Um, these thieves um, yank the wires out of these two plugs right here. The front one goes in the pipe here, which is missing, and that's your air fuel ratio or what a lot of people will call the, the upstream O2 sensor. And then the other plug here goes where if the cat were here, would go in the pipe behind the cat, and that's the downstream O2 sensor. So when they take these, like a lot of the other cars, when they're stolen, they also take the O2 sensors. Now there's no value to those, but it's easier to take the O2 sensor with the part than it is to unscrew it and let it dangle there for you. Now I want you to pay close attention here to how they're doing it on the elements now. If you look very closely, you can see the scarring marks right here from the saw. Um, this is Sawzall 100%. Pipe cutters are starting to be a thing of the past and I think that's because a lot of people are now taking uh, theft deterrent measures to stop it. You can also see back here, um, again, saw if you look very closely. You can see the kind of the pattern of the saw blade here and, and how it cuts it, which is pretty crazy because most of these are taken in people's driveways and saws are not loud. And ironically, right now we're in a working shop and we don't have any of our saws going in the background, but there's one right there. And so that gives you an idea of uh, how much noise that makes. The uh, Francisco's over there working on a mini and uh, he's using one of our corded saws off really really loud so pretty crazy they're able to get away with this stuff um, well these things are parked in people's driveways so what's unique about the elements versus some of the other videos I've done and I, I've talked about this with some of the other cars too but but what's what's the main change versus like most of my videos that address the, the Prius cap theft is that um, Honda elements specifically at least uh, all the way up to what we're seeing in the 2010s uh, for the most part have legal aftermarket alternatives for the cap replacement and it's it's important to discuss this because once you've replaced that cap with an aftermarket part its desirability around theft is is minuscule compared to a, an original part and i have other videos that i've talked about this and kind of the the reasons why thieves are after factory parts versus aftermarket parts um and i don't want to take up too much time on this video to get into the, the specifics around that but the punchline is is these cats are stolen to be recycled for the precious metal content and the recycling facilities don't have infrastructure in order to evaluate the amount of precious metal yield that comes out of an aftermarket part but they do from a factory part because a factory part has a part number on it and they're able to access previous yields speaking to what they were able to pull out in precious metal recycling. So uh, a factory part is worth a lot more to a recycling facility than an aftermarket part is. And, and the, the common misconception around that is that an aftermarket part is not made as well as a factory part. And that's actually in, incorrect. It's just that the aftermarket part, again, doesn't have any sort of accessibility um, to, to the recyclers to be able to come up with any sort of idea on, on what to pay somebody to recycle it. So uh, I want to show you here this and, and then and this is all California stuff anyway uh, as we take we're in California and this video is, is mainly designed to help my customers that are in the California and have experienced cat theft on their Honda Element. But I want to show you the aftermarket catalytic converter database and how it works and why we're able to put an aftermarket part on uh, on Honda Element. So forgive my low tech stuff here. I, I do these videos mostly as informational stuff, and I, I'm not I'm not a professional video ed editor. So you're going to have to just see uh, my camera here looking at my screen. But this is the aftermarket catalytic converter database, 
and anybody that is looking to um, put an aftermarket part on any vehicle in California should be using this list. This is kind of the Bible when it comes to, to parts that are legal, knowing that ultimately we're, um, we're going to putting a part on there that's going to get through a smog test. So uh, you just drop down menu. I'm going to go to Honda. Um, the element that I just showed you the video underneath of uh, is a 2010, so we're going to select 2010. And then, of course, we go down here, select element. Uh, engine size of 2.4 liter four cylinder. And then we click search. Now, what happens is it populates a list of parts. And we've got an entire list here, um, probably, probably 15 parts or so uh, that are available. These are the manufacturers here. And then, um, you know, this is, these are the part numbers. Uh, it's important to look at, see how some of these actually right here, like it shows withdrawn on these parts. That means these parts right here are no longer legal. Um, but um, what what we really want to look at is is the, the this number over here. So on this side of the list over here, uh, this is what we call test group or engine family number. So they call it a test group right here. Um, basically, what that is is it, it's a it's it's the engine's assigned number. And that is what we use to make sure the part we're selling on one of these vehicles matches speaking to the executive order number on the aftermarket part. But, but again, what's important to know is, is that we can use aftermarket parts and we should, not just to save the customer money, but also to prevent theft in the future. As mentioned previously, uh, the aftermarket parts don't have the same desirability. All right, here's an example of an aftermarket part we're putting on as a replacement. This one's made by Walker. Um, there's a number of different manufacturers, um, but what's important, as I mentioned earlier um, in, the, in a, the video, is, is these numbers right here, okay? So this is the executive order number, this is the part number, and then this is the manufacturer. Uh, the arrows just mean the CAC can be mounted in, in either direction, meaning that there isn't a, a different amount of, or different style brick than there is here, so it's, it's reversible. But um, this is the executive order number, and this is the number on the part that coincides with the test group number on the emissions label, and what makes it legal for California. Now you also notice it has an O2 sensor bung here. Extremely important, the location of the O2 sensor bung has to be the same as what the factory was, and in this case it was in the middle of the converter itself, which is also why they take it with the part. Here's another one coming in, just got towed in. You can see right here what, what we're doing is in this section of pipe we had to add an O2 sensor bung for that front air fuel ratio sensor, and then here's the aftermarket cat, and that's where the rear O2 sensor goes. Right here, are the two plugs unplugged so they don't have the inserts and then when we're finished we'll put the new air fuel ratio here and the O2 sensor here and they'll plug in there. So here you see it with both of the sensors installed. Again this is the downstream O2 sensor. This is for evaluation of the cat's health or functionality. Uh, and then this is the air fuel ratio sensor. This is the sensor that the engine uses uh, the evaluation of this sensor to help adjust some of the fuel map and, and the way the engine is tuned. Now, uh, in a minute here, we'll show you what this looks like once we put on our theft deterrent setup that we offer for these, and I'll explain that. So this is a piece of roll bar tubing. It's the same type of tubing they use in uh, road race cars, NASCARs, um, and it's much, much thicker gauge than regular exhaust pipe. And uh, here, I'll show you how thick it is. You can kind of tell it takes a lot longer to cut through than a regular piece of exhaust pipe, which is significantly thinner. Here's a close-up view of this, the differences in thickness between the two. So you can see the one on the left over here, that's the roll bar tubing. It's uh, almost three times as thick as a standard exhaust pipe in thickness. And so the amount of time that it takes to cut through the one on the right, this side, is going to take a lot less than the one on the left. And what we do is, is we're going to form the roll bar tubing to the exhaust system around the area where they cut the cats out and weld that in. So not only will they have to use a saw to cut through the original tubing, but also through the thicker roll bar tubing here. All right, so here's the finished product. You can see we have a piece of roll bar tubing right here. 
that creates a problem with getting a saw anywhere in this area right here. We have a piece of roll bar tubing on the back of the cat right there. And then this is potentially the most important spot. It's a little bit hard to see here, but you can see we have a form one that runs all the way up and protects them from getting into this hole here with a saw. So again, I hope this video was helpful. Um, again, I just wanna make sure people are aware of the, the thefts that are happening on the elements now. Um, you can see behind me there, that's the car we just repaired. And then uh, we still are seeing quite a few Priuses and, and other makes and models, but I'm gonna continue to make videos that kind of cover the, the different cars so everybody can be informed and aware of what they're doing and, and how and, and what we're coming up with to help prevent the theft. Um, please see us at PriusCats.com if you have a Prius. StolenCats.com will also direct you to our website. And uh, as always, uh, remember the business name, Muffler Tech. We've been in Sacramento now for 23 years. We're here to help you any of your catalytic converter or exhaust needs. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and uh, check out what else we're bringing up down the road here. Have a good day, everybody.